Welcome back to part four of our Ostankia Let's Play. Uh, Total War Warhammer 3. We continue where we left things off last time. The Immortal Empire's adventure continues. It's our second stream and second kind of set of recordings. We should be recording episodes four, five, and six back to back today. And let's hope the campaign carries on and Marathi doesn't smash us into oblivion here. Now, I imagine we're going to lose Arnheim. Um, the Order Resolve says we're losing. I did actually do a test with the Order Resolve to see what the damage would be. Order Resolve will kill off 1,700 of Marathi's force, but her army will actually only lose two whole units. That unit of Dreadspears is at 43, and I think this unit of Dark Shards is at 48. So I don't really care if we don't inflict a lot of casualties. What I do care about, though, is if the casualties we do inflict need to ideally wipe out whole units or severely damage the dark shards and the shades like taking out their missile troops is going to be key to our long-term victory not going to be upset losing this we just need to do as much damage as possible to marathi and the reinforcing armies um units as possible ideally though we'll probably focus on smashing down Marath marathi's force so that then ostankia can either reclaim arnheim next turn or in the next few turns she can uh, sail on round to the moon shard land there reclaim it and then strike and break marathi's forces in the field there has also been a hot fix deployed which has massively nerfed the whiff of madness it now makes it so that rampage only triggers if the unit is in melee i mean it's not necessarily a massive nerf but that's gonna that's gonna mean the marathi won't instantly go into rampage right at the start and out of control so she can use some spells against us the kind of counter that would be i'd say throw some bats at her throw a flying unit in there just to keep her engaged and then then she's set in melee and just leave them there maybe just cycle the units out every so often um, it's going to be less good for the Dark Shards. Although, again, I guess if you curse a load of them or, or put the curses on them and then threw some bats at them or flanked some bats in so they don't get shot to bits, then you could trigger that Rampage. But I think we'll still go for putting the Rampage on Marathi to try and weaken her a bit. Um, yeah, that's, that's the plan there. If that reinforcing army wasn't coming in, I reckon we'd have this. But anyway, in we take a quick look at the map. Although we'll see it when we load on in anyway. It's taken ages. Cool. Go. Let's do this. Ba, 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 ba. So yeah, um, I'm pretty sure the only thing kind of affecting Ostankia in the hotfix was the Whiff of Madness curse um damn it ca for fixing that that little bit that i was using quite happily um no it's fine I, I i'm hoping they'll do another hot fix then in the next week or so for the frost worm because that currently doesn't do any damage as far as i'm aware like its animation doesn't sync and kind of connect so it's it is basically worthless and also i believe the um the hag witches giving regeneration to all uh, or is it the, is it the um, Drazina actually? One of them giving the ability to regenerate, which should just be for Hag Witches. It gets applied across all units instead. Um, that seems pretty pretty bonkers. Uh, this is really annoying. They're all separated out. I I in a way I'm kind of tempted just to focus on one side and, and break one whole side and then pull back. Um, oh, she's a flyer as well. Oh, okay, so she'll be going into melee. Do we want to... Do you want to try and, like, break Marathi? Or I'm kind of tempted to just form up here and break these guys. Because that's a lot of Dark Shards. Just try and break all of them from the start and then shuffle on over. The reinforcements will take some time to come on in, which is fine. I don't really want to split my forces up too much because I, we'd, we'd have to deploy a fair few to do it. I mean, over here, they've only got the one Dark Shard unit, unless that's where they've got their Shades, which I imagine they're probably mixed in there. There's more Dark Shards over here, so the, the Shades are probably over. Looking at the, the way that AI set up the rest of their troops, the Shades are definitely over there. Oh, my bad. Apparently, they have fixed the Dracaena skill. Um, speaks to the forest. Good to know. I think... Drusina! We will try and focus on breaking that unit, then taking all my forces to deal with these guys over here. 
Um, yeah, I'll try and flank them with this one. I probably could pop some units over, but I just feel like we want to smack them with overwhelming force. I mean, maybe even these guys could hold the walls. Get, like, the towers going. But those shades are going to shred us. Like, having these guys, though, could potentially do a lot of damage. Because they could shred Marathi down pretty decisively. Oh, do I want to split them or not? I mean, there's no, there's no further room for more troops over here unless we go over that way. I mean, let's, yeah, let's give it. I'm not sure about this, but let's give this a go. Clouds gather, Kislevites, and like the eternal winter of the motherland, we bring the storm. Comrades of the bear. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, shredder, 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 shredder. Yes, that's what we want. That's what we want. Quick, another volley. Another volley, guys. Bring it down, 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 bring it down. Fire on the dark shards. Go take her out. Fire on them. Go after them. Shred the demonettes down. Rusina. Come, comrades. Break them, break them, break them, break them, break them. Go. Go, 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 go. Pull them back. Put these guys up on the walls. Cavalry keep going. Go over here, please. Go over there, please. Oh, I'm losing my Drazina. Get down, get down, get down if we can. Because if we can, if we can pull them down as well to take them out, that'd be grand. Oh, my days. Okay, we've got enough of that tower over here. Go, horse raiders, go. Go, go, go. Attack. Attack. Right, take her out if you can. She's messed me up over there. If we can bring Marathi down with some shot, we might just manage it. I mean, there's no way I'm going to win, not with those reinforcements coming in as well, but still... Just, I just need her to take flight. Just need to take flight because then we can should be able to gun her down. 
That's it. Come on. How are we doing over here? They're making their way through. Yeah, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Finish off those dark shards. That's what it's all about. How are we doing over here? Yep, they've gone. Nice. They've seen off the cavalry again. That one's gone. Yeah, we've got both sides. We've nearly broken our army apart from that central group. Finisher. 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 At least if we take her out during this, then this is yeah, huge. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Get back now. Pull it back. We need to try and take out those shades. If we can, they're starting to break. That's good. That's good. That's good. Happy days. Oh, they're, they're crumbling. Nice. Wonderful. Lovely stuff. We've seen them away over here. Beautiful. Those enemy troops coming in over here, so we need to try and deal with them. Have we just broken these guys? Nice. Kossar are pretty powerful, but they're just going to send all their troops in here. We're going to lose to the reinforcement army, but we will have wiped out most of Marathis. This is huge. This is good. We can do this. We'll have a quick little look at these guys before they get wiped out, most likely. You guys done well. It's kind of a shame my Drazino just got absolutely smoked. Um, what other unit do we want in? Let's get another just a regular tower there. Bring you guys back to the victory point, please. Go take him out. Yep. Go take him out. Go take out the shades. This is what we need to do. Oh, boy. Here's Chelsea go. They've got a little unit coming back there, but that is fine. The shades in here capturing. Yeah, if I don't capture that, then we're in trouble. Okay. Yeah, otherwise I'm going to lose and struggle that. See him off. See him off. Go, 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 go. Yeah, now they can see it. Now they're going to start. The tower's now going to start firing. Got to get in that space. Stop the cat. Now get him. Go in here. You guys are going to form up there for me. Tower's going to support nicely. Get around behind him. Finish off the Witch Elves. Get him. Attack him. Form up. Taking 
They just destroyed my barricade. How oh, rude. Oh, yeah, they changed it so they've re destroyed ones can't be rebuilt. I haven't played anywhere near enough to kind of know if I do like the change to it, but I feel like that actually is a reasonable change to the um, to the sieges. I've still got units over here. Oh, my cavalry has come back again. All right, they've gone. We're doing, we're doing well. We've taken out half their force. And I think we've definitely done enough damage to a lot of these troops to get wiped out. It's all happened because I decided to take Ostanky off on holiday. Well, I mean, I kind of... We, we're waiting for the AI. It was interesting seeing the comments for this because some people were... Um, kind of... They thought it was interesting that I had... Kind of pulled back to... Sort of pullback had had gone off on tour with Ostanko on holiday, uh, and others thought, you know, actually that that allowed you to kind of try and lure the AI in, but obviously you didn't have an army close enough to then capitalize on that, and actually then make good on um, on on breaking them because I'd gone too far away, but. Uh, there were some suggestions saying I should just press against Marathi, but the thing is, I didn't know where she was, didn't know how many forces. I'd rather, to be honest, when I've got a period of peace, rather than pressing the attack, unless I know exactly where their forces are, I'd rather let them be the ones to decide when to attack me. Just because then, ideally, I can try and... Um, and then kind of pick them off as they go towards my settlements. Oh, you guys got wrecked there. Yeah, that did not work. Yeah, you're going to be countered from here. Fortunately, we don't have many missiles left. Although, don't barricades give your... Barricades regen uh, missiles, I believe, your ammo. So, actually, bear with. Uh, you might as well go chase them down, but they're already wiped anyway. We broke one of the Dread Spear units. Keep pushing. Um, buildings being destroyed. Not be I don't think that's a new thing with the patch today. The hotfix today. I think that's that's been in for a while. Oh, the barricade's the other way around. That's something I'd like if they weren't... I would prefer if it was a point and then you could choose the facing of it because that would make it a far more tactical choice. Because here, like, that's useless to me. That's quite annoying. Main thing I want to try and do here is mess up their remaining missile troops. But it looks like we're going to struggle with our troops. Um... You're probably going to break shortly. I'm just trying to take out some bleak swords now. Attack these dark shards. Start doing some damage to them. Here's the white warriors. are solid. Yeah, now it makes your way you build stuff like even more important because once it's gone, it's gone. You can't just endlessly rebuild it, which I think is good. That's a decent change. Yeah, we're about to lose our morale. It's about to all just go. That's a shame. Because like these guys here, they're still ready to fight. But yeah, they're going to go. That's not built properly. It's like bugged, I think. We've done well though. We've done well. They've lost about actually slightly more than what the Order Resolve did to them. But I think the most important thing here is that they've probably lost four units of Dark Shards. 
Yeah, that should be gone. That should be gone. The shade should be gone. Those dread spears are gone. Marathi's gone. Her canine assassin's gone. Her witch elves are gone. Probably both of them. The demonettes are definitely gone. Yeah. That's a really decent result. Destroyed the units there. There's definitely a win. Yep, 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 yep. Which probably means if she doesn't keep her other army close, the Moonshard's going to be the one to go for. If the other army goes away, then we strike Arnheim, because if it's just the remnants of Marathi's army in there, Ostankia can easily retake it and then still smash the other army, and then we can press the advantage. Again, kind of part of my reasoning of letting the enemy attack me first, and then I counterattack, is that then I know exactly where their armies are, and if I've already broken their armies, sure, they can build some new ones, but probably not quickly enough for me to stop me on a fairly rapid advance. Yeah, that is an absolutely cracking result. Yeah, oh, wow, they lost. No, they lost... Oh, sorry, I was looking at that going like, oh, they, they lost uh, that army as well. No. Okay, so actually, we... The order resolve when I tested it out before we started recording today, uh, lost 1,750-odd, I think. We lost 1,004... This time around, 1,489. But, critically, they've lost a lot of units. Oh, those witch elves are just on the threshold. Uh, oh, as are the shades. But, okay, that, that's... They're basically out of here. That army largely untouched, which is a little bit scary, but still. Where's that? Oh, army's going to sit next to it, or is it going to go away? Yeah, it's going to sit next to it. That's the smart move. I I could go on land, try and break that army and then break the reinforcements from Marathi. I don't know if I can I could probably only get on land and attack the settlement. Then she'll have these guys will reinforce through the settlement though, won't they? Oh no, 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 no. That is Marathi's broken army over there. Marienberg's gone. Unity through death. Uh, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Where are you? Yeah, go for a wander towards Boris. Da, 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 da. My visions predict failure. Yeah, so going after Arnheim with Ostankia's army will be tough because they've got all those dark shards in there. Ridiculous. I can't yeah, land and go so straight for that army. If I could land and go straight for that army, I would. So we're going to want to go for the Moon Shard instead and reclaim that, then march on those armies. But I think that their strike's been blunted, which is the good. Goddess. Can I... Uh, I can force march round there, but I can't... Uh, I could I could definitely land and I could strike the settlement this turn. They are in force march, so they're going to be tired, but I don't know if that's good. That's no. not going to do enough for us. Never. Although that army, that's going to, would that reinforce like from behind? Because otherwise I'm thinking I could turn, smash that and then retreat away. Probably wouldn't be able to intercept where those guys would be coming in. They'll, would they, they Would they be coming in off map? We're not sure. So I'm going to go over here instead. And attack the moon shard next turn. If they bring one of those armies over to the moon shard, I'm happy going for it because it's going to be a minor settlement open field battle. That's fine. Will they go and attack over there? They might do, but let's just use that to remove the corruption. Nice. And we completed our mission there, didn't we? Thousand gold to our treasury. Um, I'm going to recruit another... Do I do another one here? We'll go negative. We've got 7k, though. Even if we're negative for a little bit, just some extra troops would be... Would be good right now. Um, How fast are you guys? You're fairly speedy, actually, but I'll go for some of you guys. Globally, I mean, we could chuck them in. Um, just the extra cost, but we probably do need some more in just. Sheesh. Uh, I can always cancel it. I think we'll go for. No, we'll do it. We'll do it because then we can always spam out some more of them. 
Yeah, well, you know, we'll queue it all up and we'll see what happens. But we should be able to take the Moonshot back next time, which gives us some more loot. I'm not going to upgrade either of these just yet. Um, because one that will finish off our gold. Let's just see. Anyone want to do a quick deal? Yes. Yes. Protector. No. What? What? Speak. Okay. 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 Well, we forget how many quests we've got. Uh, win 10 battles with uh, any single hero. Is that the Ulrika? No, that's not the Ulrika, is it? Slaughter on the steps, that's it, I think. Yes. Slaughter on the steps is Ulrika. And then the Golden Knight is that one. Cool. Oh, right. And the. Oh, uh, no, before we do. Which is Hut. Get more of those curses because it's still good. Although, what's that? That one's the Hex for melee attack. No, I mean, the. Um, uh, I don't know. The Whiff Madness is definitely not as good as it was. Um, that's for sure. That's. That is. Uh, yeah, indefinite duration. That's. That's good. I mean, still having unit go out of control, but it's only when they're in melee, actually. Let's get um, Typhlosis. What do we think about Whiff of Madness now? Worth it or not? Let's see where they go. Here we go. I want to see where they're going to go. Are they going to go over to the Moon Shard? Actually, if they go over with both, then that messes me up. I shouldn't have fast forwarded it so I could see where that was gone. One's gone. Are they ambushing in reinforcement range of that one? I mean, now they've left that, I'd be tempted to go straight in and take Arnheim. But then we have the same problem of they could press the attack with two armies. Oh, here we go. The Coven's Curse Mark. I will learn the Coven's Curse Mark Hex. Who are we up against? Yeah, we don't want to face them just yet. We're busy. Replenishment plus 10% all armies. That is... Reduces enemy movement range. Disables march. Use underway and teleportation starts for the target. That's pretty good. I'm tempted to go break that army, although actually I can't do it. Whereas Arnheim, I reckon I can just about. I'm going to go back for Arnheim. Yes. It's a decisive victory. Apparently we're not going to lose anyone. Um, do, 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 do. Do I want to fight it myself, or do I want to take the Order Resolve on it? I mean, I'm not going to lose any troops. The Order Resolve should be good. So let's take the Order Resolve. 302. Ooh, okay. We will occupy that then. Ouch. Okay, that army went there. That's fine. So they're probably going to go towards that. They could bring both armies up. I've got to leave it right now. Like taking Arnheim was probably the, the safer bet. Yeah, go pop that in there. We are still recruiting loads more troops, but that is fine because then I can help reclaim that. Then we'll disband them because we're going to go negative otherwise. Stankia, Stankia, Stankia. The Cursed Cauldron. What's the bot? Actually, yeah, I should have thought I wanted to see the Cursed Cauldron in action. Uh, Malediction of Madness. That's nice. Magical Reserves. Earth, yeah, let's go for Malediction. I can't get any of these yet. Oh, we can get um, Bozorka's Wrath. Uh, Hex Duration plus 100% for Hex Spells. Ooh, wins the magic cost. Oh, you know, look, def I need the Spirit Bear. Magic Missile is incredible. Okay, next battle. We need to fight I it. The Spirit Bear is cracking. 
We can get them back in nine turns, I think it was. Boom. Right. Arnheim, Resecure. They've just taken the Moon Shard for now. That's not bad. Keep going in here. I guess we'll keep going for Typhalysis because we could whack it on a load of their Dark Shards to really weaken them. Which I think is going to be more worthwhile for us. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Off you wander. Hello, Pop. It is a close defeat. Um, I will try and fight it, I think. I mean, I could use this to weaken those ranged troops. Let's try it out. That cavalry, if that cavalry can slam into those missile troops, we might be all right. Let's find out. If not, the other army can reclaim it nice and easy. And, Mara and Marathi, Mother Ostankia, can go after their remaining force and the moon shard. That's the plan. Any terrain I can use. Nice ships. I know it's been a while since I played Warhammer 3, but I can't remember this map before. Is this new? There's still that flickering on the shadows. Or on the water that needs fixing. It's like it's quite noticeable. Flickering on all the sides. Okay, let's go here and fight through there. Cavalry, I'm going to pop you here and try and flank on round. You want to be hidden? Thank you. Focus on the infantry. Nice one, Cav. Oh no, they did the they did the explosion thing. Well, that's my plan. Ripped. Ruined. Ripper dip do. Yeah, no, they definitely got me here. outnumber them but still whether we can actually do anything here how many of these guys do i need to focus on them to bring them down okay it's kind of working yep focus on the next one break these guys might be able to if we can win this this would be incredible it saves us some time so whether we can take out those dark shots. These ones are also stupid inaccurate, so they're getting absolutely shredded and wrecked without too much damage on us. Back onto the dark shards. Murder's prowess, they're gonna get more powerful. These guys are getting ruined in the meantime, though, unfortunately. Oof. 
Come on, break him, break him, break him, break him, break him. Nuts. Focus on them again. Oh, their morale is just about to completely clock out. You guys are is this, you're still in a patch of trees which is stopping my shots. That's absolutely ruining me. Ow. Oh, that, that sucked. That just wiped my unit. GG on that play. Okay, wipe out those shades for me if you can. Okay, those shades should be gone now. Yeah, it's going to be... Oh, these guys, we just take them down at the end, but they're just going to break. Oh, close. Close, 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 close. They have 84 remaining. That's fine. My other army can finish them off. Those curses definitely seem to make their... Um, defense way weaker, though, which is good. Because we really started shredding through them. Those dread spears just held on long enough, though. I mean, not bad considering we just had Kossars and no dedicated general. I'll take it. Barely in defeat. Took out a good chunk of their troops. They're going to take it. That's fine. That uh, the army will counter unless they brought up their other force, in which case Ostankia will move in as well. One way or another, we, we're going to get them here. We're going to get them. It's going to be okay. Although, actually, would we have lost the wood resource or is it once you've got the resource, you don't lose access to it? I have communed. I have foreseen. The land oh, that's the... Me. Crown of Claws, yeah, her legendary weapon. Item, nice. Okay, we got we got so many missions. We're about to go negative, but that is a okay. Oh, Marathi is back. Oh, that is a strong force. Nuts. Okay, go straight in. It's a period victory. Really? Oh, with the settlement garrison as well. I'm in a way kind of concerned that if I were to fight that myself, I might lose. I don't have the debuffs for the Dark Shards this time. So I'm going to take the orders off. We've got to get rid of troops anyway because our economy is wrecked. So yeah, we're still negative. What I need to do is catch Marathi in... Um, in ambush, I think. Uh, the Golden Knight. Lovely. Golden Knight takes notice. Wonderful. And construct the Frozen Outpost. Golden Lineage. Roused by your military successes, the Golden Knight comes to defend your realm. Before she can join battle, however, the esteemed warrior requires an outpost to serve as a rendezvous point and a base of operations in your hex-touched lands. So I need that now for both um, Ulrika and the Golden Knight. That's about to rebel with chaos. You're busy recruiting. So what I think I need to try and do is move. Move here. And try and ambush. We will ambush. If it honors Ursul. Commander of the soldiery. Do, 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 do. Um, speaks to the forest. That is now regeneration for embedded witch hang heroes, Lord's Army. I accept that apparently works tribute. now. Good, good, good. Imminent rebellion. Oh, the rebellion will happen here. 
Yeah. Not much we can do about that. That's fine. I mean, Ostanky is close by, so hopefully. One must make use of this. This fear. It is strong belief. Strong emotion. Oh, Astrogoth. Right. Rosina, ready. Yeah. Mm, I'll, I'll get them just in case. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, we still have wood. That's good. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for that one. Keep creating. Did I forget to do it last time? Oh. Also did it the wrong way around. Whoops. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. What's Marathi going to do? Let's find out. Come on, ambush. Yes! Oh, discovered. Really? Okay, well, we have no choice but to fight. Dark con let's just dark conduit. Oh, it's going to be so annoying. Um, I have this, which gives me more range. Uh, we'll give that to my ambushers to make them even tougher. I'm a little bit worried I don't have the enough infantry to break them here. I mean, how do, how do the infantry compare? 26, 43. Pretty much on par with them. You have to pin them with them, flank with the rest of them, try and knock out Marathi. Oh, I don't like the extra characters, though. That's going to be very tough. Well, those watching the stream, we're about to dive into this. For those watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed another episode. Enjoy the cliffhanger. Sorry, not sorry. Catch you in the next one. Until then, take care and ciao for now.